What's up, y'all? I didn't want to do another live stream like this again, but uh, apparently somebody got the bright idea to block me from the student.net group where I do all my stuff, like where I post all my builds. So I'm just over here like, what the fuck? Like, I don't know why I got blocked. I didn't even fucking do anything. So, like, what in the actual shit? Like, I'm confused. And if you're wondering what's going on, I actually went to, you know, take and go into the istuner.net group, you know, and do my thing. Well, not really, like, do, like, a car bill, but, like, you know what I mean? Like, I went to go send some people the invites for the stuff. Like, I went to send them links, you know, invites for the show in June. And then, out of nowhere, I find that I am blocked from the group. So, congratulations to whoever blocked me from the group. Like, if you wanted to kick me out of the group, man, you sure as hell succeeded at your job. Like, you did really good at that. So, thanks for getting me kicked out of the group, fucker. Like, legit. I went to send this dudaki who wanted, who legitimately wanted to check out my music and some of my stuff. I went to send him the link to all my channels, to like my gaming channel. All that shit. I want to send him links. And the only way I can do it is through the group. And what do I find? I've been blocked from the group. And I'm just like, what the fuck? You know, it's kind of ridiculous. Like, here I am trying to relax. Get stuff ready for the show on the 21st of June. And send people links so that they can check my stuff out. And if they want to, you know, come in, kick it at the show, hey, that's great. Because as I said before in a few live streams, you know, the more people that show up to the show on the 21st, the better. Because, you know, this is my first live show on stage. You know, something I'm really looking forward to. So, you know, for me to get blocked from one of the groups that I've been part of for years, like, it's stupid. Yo, Nathan, I am glad you're here, dude, because somebody actually blocked me from the S-Tuner group. I don't know who it was. I don't know if somebody may have reported my stuff. I don't know, man. Like, I really don't know what the hell is going on. Because I actually went to send Aki the link to some of my stuff, and I got blocked from the group. Because Aki wanted to check some of my stuff out, and I was going to send him the link through the group so that everybody could check my stuff out. You know, whether it was my gaming channel, whether it was, you know, my music. And I went to post it all in the group. I pulled up the group, and I'm blocked from it. Well, dude, you need to talk to those admins and tell them what in the hell went down. Because this is all I did since this morning in that group is I went in there because I seen like everybody talking shit about the build I did yesterday. And I went on there to prove to them that a turbocharged and supercharged concept is possible. And I had the proof to back it up. I had the article. You know, I showed the proof that, you know, it is possible. And this dude Cooper wanted my link because, you know, he was like, you know, like, what's your YouTube link? And da, 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 da. I figured maybe he was another, he wanted to subscribe. Cool. You know, another subscriber under my belt. Well, 
he goes on there, finds the freaking video where I'm talking about my ex Abby and shit about how I wasn't cheating on her and explaining, you know, like what happened. And I'm sitting there in the video, that next video, calling this Cooper guy out because he won't stop running his mouth. Like, you know, I went in there and I tried to explain to him, like, dude, like, you know, like, what's your deal? I tried reasoning with him and explaining to him what had actually happened between me and my ex. And that's when things got out of control. Hence, the next live stream that I did calling his ass out and being like, look, this hate, the bullshit, it needs to stop. So really, uh, yeah, I know some of the things I said were wrong, but on the flip side of that, it was ultimately, you know, Cooper that instigated this shit. Granted, I could have handled it a little bit better, but when you push somebody to a certain point, they're bound to snap. Like, seriously, like this dude just kept running his mouth and just would not stop. But for real though, man, like, you know, Cooper, I tried explaining to you what went down. I really tried to explain to you the truth and you just like made me look like a bad guy when I'm not. Hell, to be honest with you, I'm one of the most chilled guys ever, like, straight up. Like, I'm laid back. Like, you know, aside from my music career, you know, I'm a normal guy. Like, you know, I love messing around with cars. I love doing builds about them. Hell, to be honest with you, if you guys look on YouTube, I actually wound up setting the Need for Speed Underground 2 World Sprint record on Palm Hill using the Mazda RX-7. Hang on here, I'm looking to see you all, because I'm getting like a bunch of people coming in. So if you see me going like this, I'm looking at the comments and stuff as I'm doing this. So shout out to John Jenkins, man. This dude's really cool. Um, nice dude. What up, John? And Aki, um, I did send you a friend request, Aki. So message me, man, and I will send you the links as soon as possible, buddy. But, you know, like, I'm a pretty chill dude. Like, I'm not going to lie. Like, I'm a really nice guy. And I'm easy to get along with. Yeah, I know I may not look the best. I get that I look different than most. But aside from that, instead of looking at my physical appearance and the somewhat shoddy build I did yesterday, I'll admit I was shoddy. But it was an attempt at a new design. That's where I got that design from was the article I showed you guys in the live stream. And the only reason I really went off on everybody on that post was because I was sitting here working on some stuff and it just kept popping up and popping up and popping up. Like every five seconds I would sit there and I would be doing something. Like I was actually sitting there working on a new track for the show and it just kept bang, 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 just popping up. Yo, shout out to Anthony, dude, straight up. But, you know, like I said, I'm not a bad guy. You know, I just get stuck in these bad spots. 
Like I really do get stuck in bad situations and stuff gets twisted. I'm not a bad guy at all. I'm really not. And maybe if a lot of you guys, you know, like Cooper, I'm not trying to bash on you, but just as an example, maybe if guys like you, Cooper, would stop ripping on me and actually give me a chance, maybe then you'll see I'm not such a bad guy. And then I'm a lot like a lot of you guys. You know, I really am like you guys in a big way. You know, I'm all about a good build. I mean, you know... You know, I do drifting for, I've started doing drifting since I was 16 and I'm 27 now. I mean, I know I might not seem like I'm chilled right now, but believe it or not, I actually pretty am. But, you know, I'm not a bad guy at all. I'm really not. I'm just a normal guy trying to make a name for himself, make a career for himself out of what he loves to do, on top of doing some custom builds that you guys will like. And on the side, as I said in the, before in the last live stream, if you guys want any kind of artwork or any kind of beats at all, hit me up. I'm more than willing to work with people that are, um, that are chill and you know willing to be understanding. Like, you don't judge... You don't judge me, I don't judge you. You know, I'm cool with those who are cool with me. I treat people with mutual respect. And honestly, if you really think about it, man, really think about this for a minute. That's what the car community has been based around, is mutual respect. <laughs> right? And believe it or not, dude, I actually was thinking about doing a remix of the Gucci Gang song because everybody's, like, wanting me to do that. So I'm like, I may do that. I know there's a few songs that I do plan on doing at the show. Like, I did do a remix of Chester's song, well, Lincoln Park's song heavy as a tribute to Chester because Chester's always been a huge influence on me musically. You know, his music's definitely, you know, De Lincoln Park's definitely a huge inspiration to a lot of my music. But one thing a lot of people mistake me on is that when I flip like that, I have a legitimate reason. And believe it or not, Kane, like, I know I went off, Kane. I get it. I know I went off, like, crazy. I get it. But things being as they are now, you know, like I said, you know, that's what the s tuner the world community is supposed to be about. It's supposed to be about mutual respect. I mean, yeah, you might not like the person's car design. But you got to respect the fact that they're out there doing it. I mean, you can't really knock somebody's grind like that. Like, come on. Like, I mean, there are some car builds that I do see in the community that I'm not that big on. But I still show them the mutual respect because, you know, they're doing their thing. Hell yeah, dude. Gucci Gang is actually a pretty good song. I'm not going to lie. Like, I've heard several different remakes of it. Dope song all around. But, you know, like I said, guys, I'm not a bad guy. I'm an honest dude who, you know, enjoys doing artwork, who enjoys doing music and making car builds for you guys to enjoy. Yes, I started out with, you know, Underground 2 because I'm part of that generation. 
My first street racing game ever was Need for Speed Underground 2, and then it just went from there. And, you know, like, I have a very, I'm like you guys. I have a mutual love and respect for the car community and cars in general. Yes, I might not like every car design that I see, but I still show that person the respect that they deserve because they put hard work and time and effort into it. And that's what the yes sooner car community is supposed to be about. It's supposed to be about mutual respect, you know, looking out for one another, helping each other out, not tearing each other down like y'all did me. Like, if I see somebody that does a crazy build that does, that just doesn't look right, instead of tearing them down, I'm going to pull that person aside and message them and be like, hey, you know, I can help you with this. Because I've done this myself. I know what it's like to be stuck. I know what it's like to do a shoddy build. Because you guys got to remember, we all start somewhere. And as I said, guys, if you guys do go into the community and the S-Tuner car community that I was part of, and you guys scroll down at my stuff and you see my stuff, you guys will see that I've done some solid car builds in the past. And the only reason why I stepped outside of the solid car build, like I normally do, is because I wanted to try out that new concept that I mentioned in that live stream. That's the only reason I did that. And I get that I got a lot of hate for it, but can you really blame me for taking that concept that I read about and actually seen through various videos, can you really blame me for taking that and trying to apply that to the S-Tuner world? Because that's a whole new thing. And if you really think about the history of cars, I really think about this, man. Nobody said, like, a lot of people said supercars wouldn't be real. A lot of people said that cars in general would not be able to be built. They'll look at us now where we are in the age of cars, where we have freaking hyper cars. We have cars that are flying. We have little mini cars. We have freaking cars with rear view cameras. We have smart cars that can park themselves. So if we can do that, Why can't we do a car that's got a supercharger and turbocharger all in the same build? You got to start somewhere. Yes, definitely, Aki. Like I said, Aki, if you message me, I will be more than happy to show you some of my builds that I've done in the past, like for sure. I've got like a ton of builds. Um, and, you know, and Michelle's right, dude. Yo, Tokyo Drift 2, does, I agree with Hayden on this. Tokyo Drift 2 does need to come out. I fucking love Sean's Evo, man. That Evo is a boss. Like, not even going to lie, dude. That Evo is a boss. But, you know, I do have, to, like, honestly, in all honesty, now that you guys are bringing up the Fast and Furious series on me, I have to admit, some of my favorite cars from the series would have to be Paul Walker's Nissan, um, not his Nissan, but, um, his um freaking what's it called the eclipse i'm a huge fan of the eclipse definitely his r32 or his r34 skyline i love that thing 
this guy was a boss. And I don't know if you guys noticed this or not, but if you guys pay attention to Too Fast, Too Furious, and Tokyo Drift, those are the two movies that have a Lan Evo in them. Like, Paul Walker has his Evo, and then Sean has his Evo. But, you know, I am definitely a huge fan of the Fast and Furious series. As a matter of fact, the Fast and Furious series is actually what got me started in doing street racing gaming in the first place. You know, like that's why I've got such a huge love and respect for the car community and cars in general. You know, like... I have a huge love and respect for cars. I'm a car guy just like you guys. And to be honest with you, if I had to choose between going to the mall or getting my hands dirty underneath the hood of a car to do a drift build, I'm getting my hands dirty and doing that drift build. Because to me, going to the mall is just another store for me. I'd rather get my hands dirty. I'd rather, you know, be underneath the hood of a car rather than be at a mall looking for dumb shit that I don't even need. I'll take a bonfire over fucking going to the mall any given day of the week. And believe it or not, Nathan, the only reason why I'm actually out here is because in my room I don't have a light yet. Um, I'm actually still working on the setup in my room, so that's kind of why I'm out here at the moment. All right, I don't actually have any S tuner cars like on here, but what I can do is I can show you guys some of my builds off the Need for Speed series. If you guys want, I'm more than willing to do that. Haha, <laughs> very funny, Adrian. But believe it or not, dude, like this couch is actually pretty damn comfortable, not gonna lie. Alright, seriously, Kane, chill, bro. All right, seriously, man. Wait, what's that? You talking about the angel statue behind me? Dude, that's actually not a statue. That's actually a candle holder. And no, that ain't for sale. None of the stuff you guys see behind me is for sale, and neither of this is this couch, man. Believe it or not, this has actually been in our family for years. So, no, none of this stuff is for sale. The couch ain't for sale. But, dude, I do like the concept of a couch being in a car. I think that's a cool idea. Like, throw that shit in the back of a fucking truck, man. I love the idea. But for real though, dude, like, and I'll be honest with you, man, like, I've seen some pretty crazy builds on stuff by Pimp My Ride, West Coast Customs. So I mean, I've seen some pretty crazy builds, and honestly, dude, I'll be straight up honest with you. I can see somebody taking a freaking couch and doing something with it, like, inside of, like, a wide bed truck or something. I can see that. Like, straight up, I can actually see that being something. Dude, now you're talking old school, Adrian, man. Come on, bro. Fucking N64, man. Dude, I grew up on that. I grew up on that. Super Nintendo. Hell, dude, I grew up on freaking Game Boy and Atari. And yes, I do uh, still have an N64 and no, it ain't for sale. 
Anybody wants that, she can forget about the idea right now. But uh, what I will do, guys, is I am going to hop off here and start up another live stream. Only this one is going to be aimed at the TV, so y'all can see my builds on there on the Need for Speed games. I actually will be doing Need for Speed Pro Street as well as a couple other ones. So who knows? You guys might get to see some get to see some fun. <laughs> but anyways, y'all, I'm out. I'll catch you guys on Need for Speed with my builds. I'll catch y'all later.